Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Ecom Insiders. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a little bit of a crazy business model out there that is making an insane amount of profit every single month because they're essentially selling digital goods. However, some of you guys watching this video may not like the product that they're selling. And that's essentially why I'm making this video because I came up against it. You guys may know I like to do a little bit of gaming in my spare time and this morning I was playing with my friends. I like to play Call of Duty. Generally, I'm playing Warzone. I got in there, flew into Verdansk and we played three games back to back where we got cheated on by hackers. And if you don't know, you've never played Warzone or you're not a big gamer. Well, essentially you play this game against 150 other people. You go in there and you try and be the last team or last person alive. But when there's cheaters in here, they can essentially go ahead, shoot through a wall and kill you immediately. So once I've seen this back to back three times, that means there's a lot of people buying these cheats. Where are they getting them from and how much money are the people making selling these things? And I kind of wanted to go ahead and get to the bottom of this. We're going to take a look at a website today called skycheats.net. And these guys are making an insane amount of money. We're going to give it the whole e-commerce breakdown that I normally do here on the channel. Their store looks horrible. It's kind of crazy, but they're selling a product that people are searching for. They're getting 100% free traffic on this store. We're gonna take a look at them stats in a second, but these guys are getting crazy visitors. They're selling a piece of code. So their only real cost on this product is going out there, finding a developer to create these cheats and update the cheats. So they've probably got a developer on staff manning these cheats, updating them, you know, whenever the, the patches come out and block these cheats from working, they're out there updating to make sure the product works. So if we take a look here on the website, you can see we've got all these different cheats for different games. And it's actually insane how much these cost. And it blows my mind that so many cheaters out there use this. It fucking ruins the game. It's absolutely hateful to come up against people using these. Uh, it's really, really annoying and I do not advocate it at all. But if we go in here to Warzone, the price these people pay to use cheats is kind of fucking crazy. So we come in here and you can see we've got a modern Warzone. There's these different like mod tools that they have. So right here, we've got COD Warzone Zeta. We've got Blade, Dash, and Degru. And I'm assuming that these are different kind of mod tools. So they'll work in different ways. They'll have different features. And you can see here for the cheapest one, it's $15 for one day's usage. So if that person wants to go out there, use it for a day and then use it next week again, they're going to have to pay twice, which I would be really, really curious to look inside Sky Cheats like back end and look at their lifetime customer value. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be kinda of high. Again, with the nature of the product, not only are people going out there and getting accounts banned, which means they have to buy another set of cheats, they don't sell these as like a you know, lifetime package. You have to buy it monthly, and for a monthly key, if you wanna use this for like 12 months, it's gonna cost you $130 a month, which is absolutely insane. For a week, it's $50. And I imagine there's lots of kids out there going and paying this money for these cheats. We see cheaters in games every single day. They're really taking over. It's really becoming a problem in the games. And these guys don't just sell it for Modern Warfare. They sell it for uh, Cold War, Escape from Tarkov, Valorant, Apex Legends, Among Us, all of these other games. So there's definitely money in this cheat market. So what do we want to do? We want to take a look at how much traffic they're getting per month. So let's pull up our old friend here, Similar Web. If we take a look at Similar Web right here, we can see that their monthly visits are about 325,297, a little bit of a dip there, back up to 309. So they're averaging about 300,000 visitors per month on this website. And look, let's do some e-commerce math here like we normally do on the channel. We'll take an average conversion rate of about 3%. And I don't know if that's gonna be higher on this website or a little bit lower, but I would guess that you know the returning customer rate is really, really high. So you're getting a lot of people coming back and purchasing again and again and again if these cheats are working for them and they're seemingly having fun you know, cheating in games, they're gonna come back and they're gonna buy more cheats or their account gets banned, they have to come back and buy more cheats. So right here at 300,000 people, let's pull up our calculator and see what sort of numbers we're getting. We're gonna have to kind of estimate, and this is gonna be super inaccurate because I really don't have a clue what their average order value is. Um, I'm just gonna go for the week key. I don't think many people are gonna be buying a day key. I'd say probably 30 to 40% potentially. And then probably you're getting 30 to 40% buying the weekly key and then like a very small minority buying that monthly key. And then maybe if they'll like it or maybe they test it out for a day, they'll like it, they'll upgrade to the weekly key. Um, so I'd say you get a quite a little bit of a like uptick 
from people who buy the daily then move to the weekly. Um, so let's go ahead and run some numbers. Let's say that the average order value is just $50 here. Let's go with that as our number and let's do a 3% conversion rate. So we had 300,000 visitors last month times a 3% conversion rate right there. That gives us 9,000 orders times the $50 average order value. That's $450,000 per month selling these cheats and again i'm not sure how the business model actually works here i don't know if they're maybe going out there they're hiring developers and they have a team creating these or they're buying these cheats off like freelance developers who are creating these systems uh, obviously there's a lot of different products right here for a lot of different games for example i know escape from tarkov they have big big problems with cheaters as well uh, and that's even more expensive right for a weekly key on tarkov you're talking 180 dollars down here 90 dollars 100 dollars these are big. If you look at something like Rust, which is another really big game, a one day key, $14, uh, $14 over here. Uh, let's look at PUBG. Again, another big battle royale game, only $10. Pretty cheap on that one. Among Us. Who's cheating in Among Us? Why you be cheating in Among Us? That's just not fun. What are you doing with your life? You're cheating in Among Us. You get a one week key for $15. So that's a little bit cheaper. But them numbers that'd be kind of crazy right four hundred fifty thousand dollars a month estimated revenue for this store probably on you know running costs of like 20 30k maybe a month of developer costs and stuff like that again estimating stuff here maybe people with more experience in this i've never done or ran mods or, or built mods or anything like that but if you have more experience in this let me know down below but the next big interesting thing is Let's go and look at their traffic sources. So I think I mistakenly said earlier that they don't run any ped traffic at all. I'm not actually 100% sure about that, but I do know that a large proportion of their traffic is coming from search. So a lot of people out there searching this stuff, searching these cheats, because if people see other cheaters, they kind of just go, frick it, look, I can't beat them. I'm going to join them. I'm going to go buy cheats on their website. So let's scroll down here. You can see 25%. Traffic is United States, 6% Australia, and then it's kind of broken down every other country in the world. And you can see the breakdown of their traffic here. And this is absolutely mind boggling. They've got direct traffic of 17%, referrals 4.3%. That's people sending it to their friends, other websites, all that fun stuff. And send 78% of traffic coming from search right let's go and look and see if there's a breakdown of pad search oh my goodness it's 98 99 organic search right that is absolutely insane warzone hacks valorant cheats uh, among us cheats valorant hacks and valorant actually seems to be their biggest game here so let's take a look at their valorant average kind of uh do we have valorant there we go obviously huge game oh my goodness the valorant is their biggest search game their biggest search hack and the only thing you can buy for that is a $200 cheat. That would bump their average order value up. Absolutely crazy, right? Scroll on down. We get a little bit of traffic. I have actually seen uh, on my gaming channel, whenever I see ads playing, I don't have YouTube Premium on there, and I see ads playing on there, I have seen cheat ads, right? So some people are out there running these ads for cheats on YouTube ads. I'm very surprised that YouTube allowed them to do that. Um, I'm pretty, you know, I'd say they have issues with ad accounts and stuff like that. But this is, is absolutely mind-boggling business model. And someone out there is making a lot of money out of these cheats. And look, if it's all above board and legal, it's like, you know, you can't really knock it. You know what I mean? Like, it's a it's a business model. There's people out there who want them. People want this product. And I do really think, obviously, some games do have anti-cheat systems. And these guys are trying to work to get around it. I don't like it. I don't enjoy playing against it in games. But look, someone's going to do it, right? And this person or this business is really out there and seem to have done well with it four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month selling software with absolutely no paid ads and very small probably uh salary or freelance based team updating these cheats this is a crazy business and i'd love to know more maybe you know someone who runs one of these websites there's a couple of them out there there's quite a few of them out there maybe you know someone who creates the cheats i'd be interested in doing an interview to talk about the business model uh obviously i'd say whoever owns these websites probably wants to stay low key because um you know the the, the hit out there for these cheats and, and rightly so it's extremely extremely annoying to play against it ruins the game essentially um they probably don't want to do any interviews or anything like that, I would imagine. But interesting business model, all the same. Uh, and I just want to kind of put this one out there because 
there's so many different businesses and online businesses that people are running uh, and this one was interesting to me obviously i love gaming and I, I hate cheaters but there's some omega money behind this it's also like the fifa coin businesses they are absolutely insane as well people were making crazy money out of that uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Hit that like button if you like this video, you want to see more like it. Hit subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one.